Hey everybody, it's Cam. Third video coming at you this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to do a combined video for AMC and GameStop as both days were essentially inside days with low volume. So we'll uh, jump into GameStop first. I uh, mentioned in pre-market video that I did this morning that uh, yeah, GameStop was moving between this 50 and the 61 fib from the move down uh, after its you know spike in the end of January. Uh, so really not compar comparatively, right? So very small range that it, compared to what it has been moving uh, in the last two weeks. So basically the load during intraday hours, 232, got up to high of 280. So um, still that's 20% on the stock, but you know, yesterday had a 50% move in uh, 10 minutes. So relatively small um, volume did put a good side volume base down in here in the 240s and uh, 250s we are selling off um, after hours right now so we'll see if this uh, blue 50 percent fib will hold from the original move higher uh, to 43 intraday high but uh, I think today was just you know a lot of the tension went to the bigger indexes right uh, S&P 500 set a new high so a lot of that money was just you know moving back over to the uh, big name text tech stocks right so if you look over here on the left watch list basically everything's green right these reds are inverse ETS gold silver but Microsoft Google Amazon Tesla Apple Facebook Facebook was a big snapchat shop Baba Roku Netflix square zoom everything's green so mine's rotating back into those uh, tech stocks growth stocks so uh, attention was just taken away from the Wall Street bets plays today. So if we go out to the daily chart, um, we'll see. You know, so now just setting up here for this volume. Let me just get that zoomed better. Didn't like, really like that. Not like that house over there. So my apologies. Uh, but you see, we're just still in this huge, you know, cup formation right now. Still, still holding it. Uh, yesterday, it's just a massive wide range bar on the drop. So today, naturally, you know, was going to be an inside day bar. More, you know, very high probability that that was going to happen. Uh, and then if you look down here at the, the volume, right, very low volume compared to yesterday. 71 million yesterday, 27, almost 28 million today. So that's about 40% of the volume from yesterday. So just, just by that alone, tension was taken away. And it looks like the mixed volume here is about half red. So pretty equal buyer and sellers today and uh, we were able to you know the candles kinda um, deceiving right because it uses the, the 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 open price to the close but uh, still right on the day just by two percent which is not anything considerable um, but we are staying up here uh, in the middle of this range so I think the you know, potential play for tomorrow is what side of this inside candle is going to break. Will it be higher or lower uh, for Friday? You know, we're going to have options expiring again tomorrow. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head, you know, where a lot of them are concentrated, but uh, definitely looking for an influx of moves tomorrow to move this thing one way or the other. Uh, and that, that's a good point to bring me back to. But you can see uh, here, just, you know, kind of end of the day. In the last 10 minutes we did get a considerable sell-off right so 264 down to 252 so that could be uh, you know institutions other type of people um, closing their their uh, short positions their long positions going into the close don't want anything after hours to catch them or knock them out so uh, and you know uptick in volume shows that too but it looks like we are still moving lower right now down to 245 so we'll look to see if this uh, keeps you know moving after hours right you know pretty big moves yesterday yesterday's actually pretty quiet after hours after the big move but uh, we'll look to see if this 242.79 level holds on GameStop for tomorrow and then we'll go to AMC uh, quiet day too get another one minute chart can't really see much there but had earnings yesterday and then you know this is kinda just a, a sell off you know slow low fade I guess I mean it, the range isn't huge but you know basically couldn't get over the 200 day or 200 excuse me not 200 day 200 unit moving average here on the five minute um, you know 
poked it right at the, the first candle and then one, two retests later in the day. So stayed lower, um, but did close up higher, you know, up 4% uh, from the close. So we got the move higher after hours for uh, earnings, but it's very similar scenario to, to, to GameStop, very low volume compared to yesterday and an inside bar. So I think both are plays to watch, very similar play. And then, you know, opposite of GameStop here, the daily candles red just from the uh, uh, open to close price, but still candle is actually green for the day. And uh, you see we're basing, making a new base here for volume uh, around the $10 area. So look to see if that acts as a springboard. And I'd say this is, a, you know, almost the exact same play as GameStop. Uh, if you play dailies, right, set an alert at the high from today, set an alert at the low from today. And then uh, if one of those breaks, right, the high breaks, play it long. If the low breaks, you're playing it down low to short. Uh, even if things are available to short, I don't think they are. But uh, again, like uh, GameStop, options are going to be uh, a big um, play for tomorrow. I imagine there's going to be a ton of options sitting around the $10 mark. So uh, that'll be a target for institutions and, you know, scalpers to look at for the implied volatility. You know, make a quick buck on there on their calls and puts. For that $10 level, double digits, you think would be a, a, uh, a favorite for uh, a Friday option expiration. So... Uh, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Kind of a very slow day in the mean stock, stock world. Oh, I guess I just last thing just mentioned I forgot. But uh, same as GameStop, volume way down, right? 83 to 261, so about a third of the volume. So, or that's actually like, yes, yeah, about a third. Third of the volume from yesterday. So attention was just wasn't here today. Went to the tech stocks. So we'll see if uh, the uh, indices pull back tomorrow and the Wall Street bets meme stocks get their attention on Friday. So that's all I got for you guys. Hope you have a good one. And we'll see you in the morning.